Welcome to the Digital How To Series. Today I'm going to explain to you how you can create audiences for Instagram and Facebook campaigns but from the business.facebook uh, platform. So here we're logged in and we're in the Algorithm Agency Business Manager account. If I click on these 3D um, uh, markers here, you'll see a section called Audiences. The great thing about this section is it enables you to create audiences that you can save that you can then use and select when you're creating your campaigns. Think of it as a library of audiences. So let's just click on create audiences. And in this case, I want to create a saved audience. So let's assume we're going after digital marketing um, people in Johannesburg. Let's just give it a name. And then you'll see here it's telling us the potential audience size before we've applied any filtering. So the first filter I want to apply is just set the location to Johannesburg. So there I can select the city. And then you'll see in this case we've got radius targeting. So I can drop that radius, increase that radius. Let's go quite wide. Now you'll see this has gone down to 8.6 million people. And then you can include or exclude areas. So as an example, I might want to exclude um, whatever, Rhinefield, Invernoni, for whatever reason. But you get the idea. Include, exclude, until you get the right geography set. So then I can start filtering by different um, attributes. So in this case, I don't want to go after anybody who's less than 26 years old and in a job. And I want to cut off at the age of 50 because I'm looking for people who potentially work in digital marketing jobs. Now my audience is 4.9 million people, so still very, very broad. So now what I can do is actually use Facebook's um, demographic uh, classifications to narrow that audience further. So let's say I want to go after people who are, are into digital marketing. So I just search for that. And then it's going to tell you here a bunch of different um, categories. So there's one for digital marketing with 175 million people in it globally. So if I apply that one and then just check what that's done to my audience size, we're now at 390,000 people. My suggestion here is that you either browse, you'll see demographics, interests, um, etc., or search for topics until you find the right combination. Um, one thing that's quite um, interesting here as well is that you can either exclude or narrow the audience. So for example, I might want to exclude people who are interested in soap operas. Okay, let's exclude that audience. That's now changed my audience side. I can then narrow the audience further and say, and must also be one of these attributes. So now I can say, okay, I want people that have a master's degree or a professional degree, or a university, uh, let's just put in degree, an academic degree. You get the idea, include, exclude, and, or. I've now got an audience of 160,000 people with a 78 kilometer radius of Gauteng. I'm excluding one suburb, I've changed the date range, and I've said people must be interested in and must also be um, educated to a certain level of um, education. But the combinations here are endless. I guess the biggest tip here is to make sure you actually think about attributes that might define the type of your audience. <clears throat> so for example, think out of the box. If you want to go after people who are wealthy, one of the biggest indicators of someone's wealth might be what type of car they drive, what sports they're into, or where they live. So don't just go after the topic that you think people are going after, so digital marketing. Maybe then also say, and interested in cricket or interested in cycling, because maybe those two pastimes would be an indicator that they're more affluent. Um, but again, there's no right or wrong answer here. You're gonna have to make your own judgment. And like everything, when you've got a massive audience that you can't afford to reach everybody, you have to actually make sacrifices and make assumptions about your audience. So whatever combinations you wanna play with here, just make sure you get an audience size that's sensible. Just as a rule of thumb, it costs roughly, and very roughly, 60 Rand, uh, South African Rand, to reach um, 1,000 people. So if your budget is 10,000, 
you can then say, okay, divide that by 50, 60 rand, and it will tell you roughly how many people you would reach once, um, which can give you a, a guide of how big the audience needs to be. My advice would be to try and um, aim to reach people more than twice so that they have a chance of uh, recalling your message. So whatever your budget is, um, divide that by 60 rand, just up to be on the safe side. That will tell you how many thousand people you can reach with that budget. And then maybe divide that by two or three to say, OK, I want to reach that audience twice or three times. There's no real science to this. It's a case of test and learn. Um, so don't just create one audience. Create a few and then maybe compare the ad performance from those different campaigns. I can then just say create a saved audience. And then the next time I go to create a campaign, so if I go back to Ads Manager, and create a campaign, that audience will then be available to me to select as a saved audience. And that's how you create audiences, and that's how you save them into the audience section of Facebook Business Manager.